Word of God. Good morning, my brothers and sisters. I'm Don, and I just want to say welcome. And uh, <laughs> I just want to start out with a quick prayer. My Father, I just thank you for my brothers and sisters. I thank you for them, Jesus. And I ask Holy Spirit that you would just open us up and pour your life into us. That you would, you would lead this this morning. It wouldn't be my word. It would be your word, Lord God. And we would be humble before you. That you would take us and you would make us vessels for your honor. In Jesus' name, amen. Good morning. I just speak life over you this morning. I declare over you that God's strength permeates every part of your being. That every cell, His strength resonates in you. That you are called child of the Most High God. That you are. That you are His. That you belong to Him. And that nothing can snatch you from His, from his hand. That if you feel weak, He is strong. And, and that's really true. That uh, <clears throat> if you feel like you're weak today, if you feel like you have no momentum, that... that Thing, that things and circumstances are crashing around you, you say, praise the Lord! <laughs> Can't get too loud. My son's sleeping next door. <laughs> In the room next door, and I don't want to wake him up. But, uh, I just, uh, <laughs> I just want to encourage you that God is your strength. To seek Him if, if, you're, in a, if you're in a place right now of desperation or whatever. Just seek Him. If you feel like you're strong, <laughs> but it's your own strength, your own pride, if somebody's came up and said, man, you're awesome, you're the greatest, <laughs> we just want to hear more from you, give it to the Lord. Humble yourself before Him. Don't allow it to, to balloon your head up. <laughs> it becomes bigger than this screen. And i got a pretty large screen. <laughs> so, uh, I just want to say... Uh, <laughs> Let's go on to the first scripture. The first scripture is uh, Psalms 28, verses 7 and 8. The Lord is my strength and my shield. In Him my heart trusts. Do we trust in the Lord? Do we look at God like He is our strength and our shield? Well, if we don't, we need to start looking at Him like that. We need, to, we need to look at him like he's a huge mother hen and we're little chicks and we're going to crawl underneath of his wing and be protected and kept warm and safe and cozy. And I am helped. When we think about God being our strength and our shield and we trust him, we are helped. That's, that's our help. We have confidence. That's again going back under that hen's wing. And, uh, you know, Jesus stood over Jerusalem and said, how many times I wanted to gather like a hen gathers her chicks. You know, our strength is in Him. We have to believe that. We have to declare that, that my strength, I declare over you that your strength is from Him and His strength is in you. And that He is your shield. And He's my shield. My heart exalts. And with songs, I give Him thanks. I give thanks to Him, actually, is what it says. <laughs> I was kind of reading forward and putting my own twist in it. But, uh, bless the Lord. <clears throat> if we exalt the Lord, He's going to lift us up. If we sing songs of praise to Him, He's going to lift us up. He's going to carry us through the day. And, and I can say this from my own experience that every day I sing to Him. Every morning on the trail, I get the opportunity to sing to my God. And I believe one time the Lord showed me I was like a little child before Him. And you know, when a little child sings, a little child doesn't care if he gets the words right or if he gets the melody right. He's singing because it's joyful. So we need to get before the Lord and exalt Him with song. The Lord is the strength of His people. He is the saving refuge of His anointed. 
when when we're having troubles in our lives, we can take refuge in Him. He's our stronghold. We can come to Him and strategize with Him how, how we're going to walk in this. How this problem of ours is going to get fixed. Or what battle we're going to fight. How we're going to grow. We can get with Him and do these things. And I'm just saying that, that, that you need to do those things. If you're not doing those things, you need to do those things. It needs to be, it's up to us get before the Lord. The Lord's not going to violate our will and, and, and force us to come in. He, he just offers, He opens the door for us to do that. And that can be on a daily basis. That could be on an hourly basis. I hope one day to be so close to the Lord that I don't have to do anything else but sit in His presence. And, and, and His life will just flow out of me. Now, is that dreaming too big? I don't think so. I think God can do that for me. I believe God can do that for me. I believe that He can do what He'll do in your lives. But you just have to believe that He is your refuge. You have to believe that He's your strength. You have to believe He is your shield. You have to sing to Him. <laughs> Glory to God. I feel the Holy Spirit on this. I'm not feeling real strong today myself. <laughs> I feel kind of puny and weak. Not that I'm feeling sick or anything, because no sickness has anything in me. But uh, I just feel tired today. It's been a long week. <laughs> not much sleep. My mind it just twists like a tornado. And uh, anyhow, I'm just going to ask right now that if you if you're watching this, and you think about me, would you just lift me up in prayer? <clears throat> I'll lift you in prayer. <laughs> you can get a hold of me at donthreadgill at hotmail.com. And uh, I'll pray for you. I'll fellowship with you if you need it. And then in Isaiah 40, 28 through 29, have you not known, have you not heard, the Lord is the everlasting God, the creator of the ends of the earth. He does not faint or grow weary. His understanding is unsearchable. He gives <clears throat> power to the faint, and to him who has no might, he, in he increases strength. And that's for me. <laughs> in my case, and I'm sure there's a lot of other people out there in, in the same boat as me that, that aren't feeling exactly strong and energetic today. But since we know we've got a God that is our strength, we can come before Him and gather that strength. And I'm not going to just—I'm not just talking about having just enough strength to go to work this morning and, and complete my tasks today. I'm talking about having enough strength to be victorious through the whole day. That I won't feel weak or weary. That I walk. My God lives boldly in me so I live boldly and then I'll be able to take that strength and offer it to others. I never force myself on others. If the door opens, I walk through the door. Otherwise, I let them see how I live by my actions. <laughs> and uh, the next uh, scripture is uh, 2 Corinthians 12.10. Paul says, for the sake of Christ, then I am content with weaknesses, insults, hardships, persecutions, and calamities. For when I am weak, then I am strong. And I'm not just talking about being physically weak today. Although I am kind of physically uh, <laughs> withdrawn or physically weak. I'm, ta I'm talking about when we're not feeling strong spiritually. And I'm all I'm I'm all for feeling strong spiritually. The stronger I feel spiritually, the scarier the devil is of me. Anyhow, we just need to we need to apply these things to our lives. We need to declare the strength of God over our lives. We need to declare that His shield surrounds us. We can't see this shield, but we know it's there. <clears throat> that the weapons of our warfare are not carnal, but mighty through God to the pulling down of strongholds. Because 
strongholds can keep us weak too. The lies that we believe can keep us weak. Do keep us weak. I'm not going to say can. They do keep us weak. They keep us from our potential. Potential. <laughs> I don't know why I said that, but glory to God. Um, the lies that we believe keep us from, from our potential. If we believe we're less than, we're not going to have the boldness and the courage to step out and say, Hey, I know somebody who's got the answer to your problems. Who are you in Christ? Are you strong or are you weak? If you're weak, become strong. <laughs> For when I am weak, then I'm strong. The joy of the Lord is my strength. Get strengthened up in the Lord. Begin to have a mindset change. Everything that we are, who we are, what we believe we are, sits right up here. Protected by a thick skull. I don't know. If you're like me, you got a thick skull. <laughs> um, I've had my head bashed down more than once. And uh, <laughs> if, if, if you've got a thick skull, you've got that brain in here, that mindset in here. And really, what goes on in our minds really kind of controls the whole situation. Our spirit men and women believe. But we have to believe up here too. We have to allow whatever's up here to come out of here. So, <laughs> I'm not going to try and be some kind of psychologist about this. But, uh, if you believe you're weak, then you're going to be weak. But if you believe that in your weakness, you'll be strong, then you're going to believe that. And you're going to confess that over yourself. And I just want to say thank you, my brothers and sisters, for spending some time with me this morning. <laughs> and I just want to say bless your day in the name of Jesus. And I just want to say you are His righteousness. You have His life within you. You can walk in His power. You can do greater things in Jesus. <gasps> Ooh, don't let that... <laughs> we don't want that religious mindset to be changed. <laughs> I'm just having fun with you. At any rate, you can do greater things in Jesus. Jesus said, you will do greater things than I've done. And so, uh, if you've got a religious mindset about that, get rid of it. Ask the Holy Spirit to enlighten you. Seek God for the answer. Don't seek a man. Don't be like these people on Facebook that, I want a word! I want a word! Give me a word! <laughs> when they can go right to the source of the word and get the perfect word right from God. Okay, We have to seek the Lord about who we are in Him. Ask Him. He will talk to you. But you just have to go in faith and believe that He will. Don't go with a wavering mind because the only thing you're going to hear is static, silence, a ringing in your ears, the devil lying to you, the flesh lying to you, your false belief systems lying to you. Let the weak say they are strong. In your weakness, cry out to God. And your strength cry out to God. But seek the Lord for everything that you do. And I just want to say bless your day again. And Father, I just thank you for my brothers and sisters. And I just ask Holy Spirit that you would lead them into all truth. And that Jesus, you would reach deep inside and pull those things out. But that their day would be honored, Lord God. That their day would be great. That their day, that they would find a surprise. That there would be a good surprise in their lives today. And if they need anything, that their needs be supplied more than abundantly. In Jesus' name, Amen. Hey, I'll see you.